All right, Rich, thank you very much for reporting live. Now, before today, there were hundreds of thousands of Hoosiers who applied for, voted for, in the primary election by using an absentee ballot. But tonight, 13 Investigates confirms that some of the people who wanted to do that, they asked for an absentee ballot, they never got some. And for some, it meant that they didn't get a chance to vote in this election today at all. Our senior investigative reporter, Bob Siegel, explains what went wrong here. It's election day, but at the Greenbrier Assisted Living Center, some residents like Ann Krause will not get a chance to vote. It upsets me greatly. I have never missed an election. I'm 72. Ann says she's voted in every election in the past 40 years until now because the absentee ballot she requested more than three weeks ago never arrived. And I'm frustrated because I feel like somebody at the state level didn't do their job. I just feel like it's incompetence. Because of COVID-19, seniors like Ann cannot leave their nursing homes, at least not past this park bench in front. But that's as far as we can go. So without an absentee ballot, she is simply out of luck. Others who did not get their absentee ballot could still vote today at the polls. It's worth it. That's what Christine Hogue did because she says the online system to request an absentee ballot was not working. When I went online, it got me to a certain point and it just stopped. It wouldn't let me go any further. The Marion County Clerk's Office admits it's facing huge challenges this election with absentee ballots. It usually sends out about 6,000 of them, but not now. This election cycle, we mailed close to 123,000 absentee ballots. In a matter of a few weeks during the pandemic that we shifted our entire operations from a mostly vote in person model to a mostly vote by mail model. The clerk's office says it does not know how many requested ballots were never received, but it says COVID-19 delayed both processing and mail delivery, resulting in people like Ann not getting a chance to vote. That's extremely unfortunate, extremely unfortunate. We, we feel your pain and we will do the best that we can to make sure that this does not happen in the fall. The big focus now is what can be learned from this primary election because absentee ballots are expected to be an even bigger part of the general election coming up in November.